If you plan on growing cucumbers or squash in your garden this year, you're going to learn the very simple step-by-step -step methods of how to plant them by seed as well as transplants. But make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to be covering two very harmful mistakes that you've likely made in the past that have set your plants up for failure. So let's begin with talking about planting our squashes and cucumbers by seed. When I say plant by seed, I don't mean starting your seeds indoors to then later transplant. I just mean sticking the seeds directly in the soil out in the garden and watching the plants grow. It's my absolute favorite method for squashes and cucumbers, as well as a lot of other vegetables. But for today, we're specifically talking about squashes and cucumbers. And I love it because it's simple. You don't have to worry about having your vegetables indoors with a light and making sure there's enough sunlight. You just stick the seeds directly in the soil and wait for them to grow. So simple. And so as long as the weather is warm enough and the soil is warm enough for germination, you can put your seeds directly outside. Of course, you need to be past all danger of frost. But once the weather has warmed up, you're past the point of any kind of frost or storm coming in and damaging your plants. All you have to do for your squashes and cucumbers is poke a hole in the soil about a half an inch deep and then put one to two seeds, then gently cover it with some soil. Make sure you keep that soil moist so that the seeds can germinate. And for us, we saw germination for our cucumbers in just five days. The seeds were starting to poke through the soil and then by day seven, they were already about an inch tall. So it's a very fast process and it seems like they just get a head start because squashes and cucumbers in particular don't really like the roots disturbed. And so I have always had much better success planting them directly by seed into the garden versus transplanting. And I just think it's because they are planted in that soil. You don't ever disturb them and they just seem to really take off. And that leads me into how to transplant them. And when you transplant squashes and cucumbers, you need to be extra gentle with the transplants. Usually when we remove a plant from its container to transplant, it's pretty common to wanna break up those roots and then plant it. And I think it's just something that we've always seen gardeners do. For example, I remember as a little kid gardening with my mom and we would plant flowers all the time and we would pull the flowers out of the pot and we'd break up the roots because they were usually really root bound. And so you'd break up those roots then plant the flowers. Well, that is not okay to do with squashes and cucumbers. And so when you remove it from its pot, you need to just let it be, plant it, and then fill it in with soil. And if you happen to have two plants growing in the same cell, you don't wanna separate them. You could do that with tomatoes and peppers, but you should not do that with your cucumbers or squashes because they don't like the roots disturbed. So if you pull them apart, that's just gonna stress them out right from the start. And you may find that those plants don't end up growing as well, or they're kind of slow and um, they just start off being stressed. And so they're not going to take off as well. And so whether you're going by seed and you just put the seeds directly out into the garden or you go as transplants, remember for seeds, it's very simple. You just put the seeds into the soil, wait for germination to occur. And if you don't see germination happening with after about two weeks for squashes and cucumbers, it is probably that the seeds are too old or they're, and they're not viable anymore. It could be that the soil isn't warm enough, but as long as the soil is about 75 to 80 degrees or above, you shouldn't have any problem with temperature. Um, or maybe you aren't keeping the soil moist enough. Remember that the top layer of soil dries out pretty quickly. And so if you're not watering once to twice a day to make sure that top layer of soil is staying moist, those seeds may not germinate. But otherwise, if your seeds are viable, you should see germination pretty quickly. And um, I know at the beginning of the video, I mentioned the two fatal mistakes, and that is the breaking up of the roots and separating the two plants. So both of those two things disturbs the roots and it sets that plant up for failure because it stresses the plant out. They can't tolerate that root disturbance. So if you avoid those two mistakes, you should have no problems planting your squashes or cucumbers, and you should see very healthy plants in no time. When it comes time to harvesting your cucumbers, one of the really fun things to do is to save their seeds. Um, you have to remember that it needs to be an heirloom variety and you have to keep that cucumber on the plant much longer than you would think. So head to this video here, figure out how you can actually save your own seeds to plant in your garden for the next year, and I will see you there.